you need to have a photo on your CV when applying for jobs in Korea? 항공사 같은 경우에는 이제 문제들 좀 많이 있었어요. 그거 관련해서 왜냐하면 한국 아시지만은 한국 승무원들이 되게 얼굴도 이쁘고 키 크고 막 그렇기 때문에 사람들이 아 역시 얼굴 보고 뽑았다 이렇게 생각했어요. Do you think? You're paid the right amount of salary for the kind of job you do. When a computer science graduate finds a job in the U.S., they're starting like base salaries more than 100, 120k, but in Korea, it is one fourth of that. How many hours per week do you work? Full work day, like if you include lunch, would probably be 45 hours. Where are you from? I'm from France. What part of France are you from? I'm from Lyon in France. How long have you been living in Korea? I've been living in Korea for like a year and a half now. What do you do in Korea? Uh, I am a project manager in an entertainment company. And what do you do as a project manager like at your company? Um, so basically my company does like drama, movies and webtoons and I am working in the webtoon part. So basically we are like localizing Korean webtoons into French. How were you able to land this job? So basically I just like put my resume on Job Korea and I had a headhunter contacting me and offering me this job position. Do you need to know Korean to be able to learn your type of job? Yeah, the whole recruiting process was in Korean. How long did it take for you to learn English, um, Korean? I learned Korean for five years. Uh, I did Korean language department for uni and then I did a master's degree in international trade and my minor was Korean as well, so like five years. So you need to, you need to know Korean to be able to learn your type of job? Yeah, because the recruiting process is in Korean and then you have like an exam as well in Korean that you need to pass. So if you don't know Korean, it's not possible to learn my job. What's it like being a foreign worker in South Korea? Uh, for me, I think in my company it's okay because we are working in the global department. So in the team, there's a lot of French people as well. We speak French a lot as well. So I think it's not like um, any other Korean company. How long have you been working at this company? I've been working for 10 months now. How many hours per week do you work? I work 40 hours. Would you say that is very normal or like that is very high in South Korea? I think it's pretty normal in South Korea. Do you get paid, you know, like the minimum wage or over the minimum wage working for that particular amount of hour? I get paid um, way more than the minimal wage. Does your work have the Hueshi culture? Oh, yes, we do, but in my team, we don't do it that much. Since I've been working there, I only did two Hueshi. What are your thoughts about Hueshi? Hueshi are quite fun, actually, because like because we do it with other teams as well sometimes, then we get to know the other people in the other teams, so it's nice. What are the requirements to be able to land the type of jobs? Like, what are the requirements do you need as a foreigner? So for me, for my work, you had to be a French native speaker or lived as at least, I think, 10 years in France. Then after you had to um, have a master's degree as well. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from South Africa. And how long have you been in Korea? Uh, I've been in Korea for about five and a half years now. And what do you do out here in Korea? Uh, I work as a marketing content manager for a fintech in Gangnam. How has that been so far for you? Uh, it's been pretty interesting. I've only been in the job for about uh, seven or eight months. Um, so before that I was teaching. Uh, so it's been quite a big change in terms of, um, I guess, adapting to corporate life in Korea. So yeah, it's been good. How were you able to like land this job like from a teaching job? Uh, so I started off by doing quite a bit of searching on LinkedIn. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, sent out a lot of applications uh, and yeah, basically got the job through LinkedIn. Um, I know some people have some luck on the Korean job boards, but um, I didn't really use those. So that was basically it, just kind of sending applications to companies, Korean uh, companies and global companies on LinkedIn um, and kind of using that to, to get the job. Your place of work, like is it a Korean company or like an international company? It is a Korean company, but I'm quite lucky in that my team is pretty global. Yeah, we've got quite a diverse uh, team of people from uh, different of different nationalities so I even though our team is global our company is is still Korean um, so we are kind of bound by I guess yeah Korean policies and kind of overall Korean workplace culture yeah do you need to know Korean or speak Korean to be able to like land your type of job it's not mandatory but it definitely helps you know a lot of because our team is kind of a mix between a global team and a Korean team it definitely helps uh, in a professional environment to have a, a degree of 
working Korea and proficiency, uh, just so that things can go a bit smoother. So what's it like, you know, working in Korea as a foreign worker? I think, you know, the, for the first time when I first started, uh, there was definitely a kind of like a novelty to the job. And, um, you know, I was really excited. Uh, but I guess as time goes on, you know, it becomes kind of a routine. And you start to realize that it's pretty much just like any other job anywhere else um, and so you kind of settle into that routine and you know in South Africa we say job, job, span is span and I think that definitely applies in Korea like at the end of the day it's just a job like you would have in almost any other country. How many hours per week do you work? Full work day like if you include lunch would probably be 45 hours. We're quite lucky I would say in that we don't have to do overtime. Um, we can kind of clock out uh, on time but there have been times when you know we have to kind of get get things done but yeah for the most part 45 hours a week what are your thoughts on Hueshik? Uh I don't mind Hueshik. like um, I will do Hueshik occasionally the keyword being occasionally uh, because yeah it's free food and free drink you know you can't say no to that where are you from I'm from India how long have you been in Korea I've been in Korea for the last six but almost seven years what, what kind of work do you do out here in Korea I'm a software engineer in Korea. I work at a startup. How did you find your job? I found my current job through LinkedIn, but previously I've been through the Korean portal systems or like application for bigger companies through those systems, even though I've never worked at a really big company. What's it like working at a Korean company? Uh, since my company is a startup, I and my current company is actually a U.S. company, even though they started in Korea. But I can speak about my previous experiences. They were very different from typical Korean companies because uh, my coworkers were really young and they had like they had their own culture, and it was really small. So the people in the company made the culture instead of it being coming from the like the established gen generations. Did you have a photo on your resume while applying for jobs in Korea? A lot of the jobs ask for a free... So it's, dif it's the difference between an established company, like a big company, as opposed to a smaller company, a startup. The startups will never ask you to attach a photo to your resume, but most startups do recruit via LinkedIn, so they can see what you look like through your LinkedIn profile. And I suppose the older formats, like they have, they don't even use like a US standard resume. They have like a, they have their own formats where you have to write about your school. Companies like Naver Kakao, they did not ask for a photo, but when I applied to NH Bank, they did have an option to upload a photo. What's the working environment like in South Korea or like your workplace in general? Workplace in general, if I can speak for the masses, I think it's really not good. But I think I'm really fortunate because my workplace is really good. As, as I said, it's a US company and a startup. But just because it's a startup doesn't mean that it's going to be a really good place to work at because uh, startups don't have to adhere to the labor laws. They can actually make you overwork as much as they want and they have their own standards for Hosankum. The longer and harder you work the, work, the faster you're gonna go up the rankings and you know trust earn the trust of the co-founders. Do you think you're paid the right amount of salary for the kind of job you do? I don't know. I, I don't think it's right to compare to the U.S. because when a computer science graduate finds a job in the U.S., they're starting like base salaries more than 100, 120K. But in Korea, it is one fourth of that. But now I'm satisfied. So what do you do out here in Korea? Well, I am currently studying for my master's degree and also I'm working for a Korean company. What's it like working at a Korean company as a foreigner? Uh, I have a lot to say because I have six years experience of working in different Korean companies. Uh, so basically, it can be a really rewarding experience for foreigners to work in Korean company because it can be very challenging. Uh, you need cultural sensitivity, adaptability, uh, so basically challenges that you can face when you're working in Korean company. It can be language barriers, cultural differences. Uh, honestly, 
I have never forced, like, faced such things because I speak Korean and I'm adopted to Korean culture. But uh, there is a thing called 유리 정장이라는 표현이 있는데, 어, 아무리 한국어를 잘해도 한국 문화를 잘하고 그리고 이제 그 일을 아무리 열심히 잘해도 한국인이 아니라서 어, 승진하는 데 어려움이 겪을 수 있다는 그런 편이 있는데, so basically it is if you are doing very well at work, you speak very well Korean, but the fact that you are not Korean, you can never get management position, so you can never get like 승진. Yeah, that's uh, like 아쉬운 점. And there are some things that foreigners don't know that there is a uh, things like 연봉 uh, 협상, which means like you can get every year you can get your salary. Better, bigger and bigger, but unfortunately, a lot of foreigners don't get that because they are foreigners. As a foreigner, how can you find jobs to work at a Korean company? Can you run us through your process? I used to work back to in Russia when I lived in Russia. I used to work for a Korean very big company. It's Kongiop. Actually, both of my jobs I get because my past previous job, I was recommended for my current job and past work as well. So I was always recommended from another Koreans to that job. So I have never like sent a CV or tried to find job to apply. There are a lot of like ways actually nowadays, uh, a lot of ways to apply for a Korean job. Like you can like basically Saramin, Job Korea, or just LinkedIn. I know a lot of people, like my friend re recently got job from Samsung because they write them from LinkedIn. Yeah, so there are a lot of, a lot of ways actually. Company 생각할 때그 한국 일 문화 어때요? 저 할머니 참 많습니다. 왜냐면 저는 사실은 이제 6년 경험이 있다 보니까 제가 대기업도 다녔고 이제 공기업도 다녔고 지금은 민간 기업을 다니고 있는데 다 달랐어요 문화가. 일단은 첫 번째 직장 경우에는 어 그런 거좀 심했어요. 약간 상상 섬 상사. 선배 후배 관계가 좀 심하긴 했는데 근데 약간 일에 일에 방해를 안 되는 정도로 사실은 공기업 같은 경우에는 그런 거 있는데 약간 뭐 해야 되는데 예를 들어서 예산을 써야 되는데 어 근데 승인을 받아야 돼요 그그 그 프로세스가 그 과정이 너무 어려웠어요 왜냐면 뭐 이제 러시아 같은 경우에는 아 예를 들어서 내가 이제 이 일을 담당하고 있으니까 이 일을 내가 알아서 이제 결정을 할수 있는데 한국에선 절대 그런 거안 되더라고요. 꼭뭐 과장, 부장, 팀장 아니면 또 위에 있는 사람들의 승인을 받아서 해야 되니까 그건 좀 불편하더라고요. 그리고 지금은 제가 일하는 그 회사가 그렇게 큰 회사는 아닌데 그리고 외국인들도 많다 보니까 어 약간 여유로운 분위기 해야 되나요? 여유로운 분위기 그리고 그어 이제 직장 상사나 막 그런 건 아니고 약간 프렌들리 프렌들리 그런 분위기인데 어 생각보다 어 일하기 편하더라고요. Do you need to have a photo on your CV when applying for jobs in Korea? Well, I have something important to say about this because it was a very hot topic. I used to work for Korean Airlines industry back to uh, 2019 and it was really hot topic because 항공사 같은 경우에는 이제 문제들 좀 많이 있었어요. 그거 관련해서. 왜냐면 한국 아시지만은 한국 승무원들이 되게 얼굴도 이쁘고 키 크고 막 그렇기 때문에 사람들이 아 역시 얼굴 보고 뽑았다. 이렇게 생각했어요. 그래서 제가 일을 했던 항공사에서는 19년도에 아예 그 사진, 이력서의 사진이란 자체 아예 없어졌어요. 왜냐면 사람들이 불만이 많아서. But still, I recommend you guys. It's no law mandatory to have a picture in your CV. 찾아봤어요. 네. 근데 uh, like employers still uh, expect to see your face in your CV. So it is recommended to put your picture. 왜 결국에는 뭐 얼굴 보고 뽑는 게 아니니까 막 CV 내용이랑 능력을 보고 뽑기 때문에 그래도 약간 기본적인 예의 아, 얼굴 사진 막 이력서에 사진 있는 거 원래 있었기 때문에 제가 추천드립니다.